Welcome to Looptopia, where we're building our own utopian homestead. So as you get older, and as a chiropractor, I'm very concerned about not hurting yourself on the homestead that'll take you out for weeks. And the back injury is the most common thing. So I'm gonna show you some tools that maybe take a little more time to hook up, but they save your body and they run without electricity. So one of the major issues we have is we've got a lot of logs and trees that have to come down and we don't have a way to move them because all we have is a car we don't have a truck we don't have an ATV so let me show you the log skate so a lot of people would just be like oh well I've got a big family we can just drag a tree which is true if you have a large group or maybe even some livestock but you're gonna have to start preparing for things that don't run on gas because there's gonna be a gas shortage coming up and it's gonna be hard to get it so, you know, ATVs and tractors are going to be a lot harder to use. Although we like a larger community, right now it's just like the three of us. So, this is a tool that'll help get it done without breaking our backs. Because, I mean, I guess we could probably all tie a rope around a log and drag it and save some time. But eventually someone's going to get hurt doing that. So, all we have is this really kind of old all-wheel Subaru. Although it's great in the mud, it only has a towing capacity of about 1,200 pounds, so it's really not gonna tow much or... But what if we could attach logs with wheels? So if we could put wheels to the logs, then we could probably use the car to pull stuff pretty easily. Now it'll handle small logs, but not the big stuff. So here's what we decided to try. So in order for us to move logs around without killing ourselves, we bought a log skate and this is how it comes you can order it from tractor supply but they don't carry it in the store you got to get it online so the box got pretty beat up before it got to us but we're hoping this thing's in good shape so this is what it looks like when you cut the box up so it's in pretty good shape um the tires i think are inflated enough i'm going to check them but it looks like it's going to be pretty simple hopefully this all goes together well so far so good looks pretty easy um looks like you just find the side that has the hole right here this little lip that oh excuse me there you go this little lip that has the hole and line it up so one side has a hole the other doesn't and it comes with these bolts and as i can tell all the bolts are the same size so should be good to go so unfortunately the instructions don't tell you a whole lot because you get one washer um so do you put it on with the nut or do you put it on with the bolt and looking at the other ones that are already on here they're all on with the bolt so we're just going to roll with putting the washer with the bolt so the lock nut's actually pretty hard to put on and i had to get the impact driver and some sort of ratchet to hold it you want to use a 16 if you're going to go in through the bolt side and a 17 if you're going to hold the nut all right so you got one more bolt left put the washer with the nut and the chain in there right so go ahead and tighten that down I haven't tightened it yet but you get two chains with this and you'll see you attach them to each hook on here and when you actually put them on uh, I'll show you how to actually tighten it around the log by the way it's called a timber tough timber tough is what I actually bought from tractor supply now this log skate has a carrying capacity of 660 pounds so I'm gonna check the tires and they came out at 20 PSI and it's recommended that you wanna put them up to 30. So I would recommend you, you blow them up since you're gonna be carrying a lot of weight and maybe even check these and tighten them down a little if they need it. It's a little wobbly. So I'm gonna pre-inflate the tires too. Okay, this is a tip that they didn't explain in the directions. You need to put both chains on each side and kind of point them away from each other and you'll have to take the washer out because the bolt is really small and they should have put a bigger bolt with this. That is my only gripe about this tool, but I'm making it work. Maybe buy a bolt and replace it, but you put a chain on opposite sides, both chains. So there's a few different ways to actually lift the log up onto these things. If the log is small enough, probably something like this can go, actually can go a lot bigger than this. You can use a cant or this is actually a log ox, which is like a three-in-one tool. And if you're going to be homesteading, holy cow, this is an awesome tool. I mean, it's a little pricey, but it's well-built. And man, it saves your back so much. 
but I'm going to lift this log with this. This is the cant feature where everything's hooked up. So you'll see how it's done. Okay, so the way this works is you push it down until you get a good lock and then you pull it up and roll it. <clears throat> and what that does is now I can get under here with the log skate. We've got the log ox and you want to put chain on each side and you just kind of scoot it in underneath give it a give it a good six inches to a foot and that's it okay at this point what you do is just kind of wiggle the log ox out and get it out and it'll lock into place it'll drop down and lock in or you can pick the other end up if it's light enough and it'll just drop in and pull the log ox out now uh, this is fine for something this size and honestly you could if you wanted just grab it and pull it and a lot of people if they have uh, a car or an ATV, they just hook up the other end and, and drag it with the wheels. And you can take pretty large logs this way. But we don't have any of that stuff. But I do have a second log ox. So I'm gonna put wheels on both sides and just push this thing. Correction, I do have another log skate. It is not an ox. That is the log ox. There's too many things named log. All right, so this has a very particular way it likes being hooked up and what you'll notice is one of your hooks swivels and moves and the other hook is is permanent you want to put the permanent hook facing down grab as much chain as you can same here why this is wide open and then you will just take it crank it and it'll snap into place like that and pop up it only has really one way it goes on right so once you figure out the hook thing that the permanent hook points down the other one points up you're good to go here's a shot of everything hooked up so you can get the other side in by just leaving the log ox in place and using it like a teeter-totter or a seesaw just push up and it's very light because the log ox will take all the weight so you just grab it from the front with the log ox and pull. So my review on this, it took a while to set up and figuring out how to put the green clamps on, the directions aren't very good about that, but since I showed you on the video, hopefully you don't have that mistake. That took me a while to figure that out. Um, but wow it was so much easier to move that with you could easily push it but man using the log ox with it to just grab the end and tow it that's the way to do it this was so easy to move now we've got some bigger ones down here and this thing can hold a lot of weight it is a little harder to log ox these things up because there is a maximum on that cant motion as far as size goes with the log ox so it can take a lot of logs but there is eventually a maximum where it's not going to really work or hold it. Great, you know, great solution when you don't have electricity and you don't have a big family and a lot of people around. You can use mechanisms like this to save your back and make your life easier. And the log ox is awesome. I'll have to do a separate review on that. But the more I use this tool, the more I like it. It is really good. And... You know, this isn't the cheapest setup because you're going to spend some money getting these things, but they're really solid and they're going to last forever. And I am really concerned of a gas shortage coming up. And I do think, you know, you counting on just towing stuff around with a tractor ATV is kind of short-sighted. This is a uh, nice down dirty way to do it without any power used. Thanks for checking out our review. Remember, we're building a homestead here if we're in south carolina if it's vegan homestead kind of a spiritual slant if that's your vibe hit us up in our telegram group it's in the description below also all of our unlisted videos are over on odyssey Brighton, and uh bitchute so you can find us over there you can see the links below uh youtube doesn't let us talk about anything at all controversial so these are just tutorials but if you actually want to see what's really going on in the homestead behind the scenes you gotta go over there Thank you. We love you. Hang in there, guys.